the Radley's equipment that we have in the lab really helps the analytical team because as an analytical team we really focus on developing rapid fit for purpose methods and we are often limited by the, uh, the speed that the chemists can generate those samples. So having this equipment that is automated that will allow the chemists to generate samples very quickly means that we can then analyse these samples quickly as well to provide that data that they need to go forward with their projects. The Maya 4 is a piece of kit which really allows us to collect high quality data. So having high quality controlled automated lab reactors like the Maya 4 is really important to allow us to deliver business. So when we got the Maya 4s, previously before we had those, we did find we were doing a lot of kind of one-off experiments and obviously setting things up in round bottom flasks is quite difficult. Um, it's a lot of space for the scientists to have to set up multiple round bottom flasks. It can be quite fiddly to do that. So by having the Maya 4, it's a more of a platform where they can set up multiple experiments at once. And as a project leader, I'm comfortable to say to them, go and set up these three or four experiments. I know they've got the equipment to be able to do that. I think my self favourite feature in terms, it would be, in terms of the Maya 4 would be just how much you can get done in there at once. Uh, yeah, I guess as a project manager, that's something that's always on my mind of how can we deliver that value for the customers and make them happy so they come back to Cat's Eye. And by getting through lots of experiments at once and getting some great data, we then put that with our scientists and our, myself, our technical expertise. We deliver that as a package to the customer and hopefully they're very happy with the results, which is typically what we see. So when we use the reactor readies, this would typically be when we have developed a process and we're starting to get into the phase where we really want to see how that behaves on a certain scale. How does that behave in a fixed vessel? We're thinking about obviously going to plant in the future for the customer. So the reactor readies are really invaluable in doing that kind of work because it's a really good scale down model of what things will look like on the big scale. And the fact that we can interchange the sizes as well just makes it a lot easier rather than having to, the scientists having to switch around between different vessels. We use it to scale up crystallization, so we usually heat, cool, try to form crystal, uh, sometimes add anti-solvents. And the reactor ready are really great for us because the lids are adapted to the blaze probe, which means we can follow the crystallization uh, live. So I think what I didn't expect is that because they are all standardized and the height of the stirrer is standard, it makes uh, modeling in DinoChem really easy. Uh, so we can use it for mixing modelly particularly. So in crystallization, mixing is really important for particle size. Uh, so getting this modelling and this data is very important for our clients. I think it makes things very flexible, so you can change the reactor depending on your, um, on your project needs. So you, you know, one day you can do a 250 and then the next day do a one litre and it usually takes only half an hour to an hour to change so yeah I think that's a lot of flexibility. Having a reactor ready I think the workflow changes in that you get a lot more data early on you're not suddenly hit by surprise issues when it comes to uh, mass transfer later on in terms of getting things into a vessel you're not hit with unexpected exotherms that you can't control and certainly visually you get an appreciation of how things look when they scale up. The best feature about the reactor ready is the fact that you can change vessel sizes easily. It's easy to cut off uh, oil circulation, take one vessel off, put the next vessel on, and you're ready to go. Um, sort of other vessels, I've tried to do the same thing in the past. It's quite easy to lead to oil leaks, lots of mess, lots of time cleaning. You spend just as much time cleaning as you do actually changing the vessel. So yeah, saving loads of time there.